What's up guys, it's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So a couple people, including Charity and uh, Faye, recently had mentioned some things about like leg exercises and not specifically leg exercises, but I think Charity had mentioned, you know, she doesn't have weights and she doesn't have a gym near her, so what to do to be able to work out at home. So this is gonna be like a quick, easy, just leg workout options. I'm not actually gonna go through the Oh, entire workout but I'm gonna give you a couple of ideas so first of all if you have like an old protein container or milk jug or something like that go ahead and grab that and once you're getting rid of those bad foods uh, like beans or not necessarily that they're bad but if you're following a low carb regimen you can probably have like some rice laying around or something that you don't need or beans or something like that or even go outside and get some rocks or dirt and maybe an old protein container milk jug and go ahead and fill it up now, in addition to that, if you're not, and that will be the heaviest option, your other option would be like a canned food. Your other option would be if you actually had a dumbbell, would probably be the best option. <laughs> Do not drop this on yourself. Start with low weight. If you have to, you can actually find, um, you can use like resistance bands and tie this in between your feet. So basically what you're going to do is you're gonna sit on the bed and you're putting this guy right between your feet like that, if you can see that. And this is going to basically, and you could be on your bed, you could be on a chair, you could be wherever. So this, and you could do this with no weight. You will feel resistance, trust me, after you're lifting your legs over and over. So just grab onto the bed, you know, hold onto the bed and just extend your legs and you're actually doing the extension as just like you would for a leg extension. Let me see if I can pan down a little bit to give you a better view, hopefully without my phone falling. But just do this guy. You don't have to start with crazy amount of reps or whatever. This is kind of just like an exercise that you can get done at home for the quads and uh, uh, the fronts of the legs. And if you can see, I mean, not that I'm showing my leg or anything, but if you can see, you'll see just doing that, and there's nothing in there. There's no weight in that, but you will get a flex. The important thing is that when you go up, squeeze that muscle really tight, just for like a second, and do like a tempo of one, two, one, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, meaning two seconds to go up, one second hold, four seconds down. Because the eccentric movement is actually when you're when you're releasing the muscle and holding tension under it is when you're going to see the most improvements because that's actually the strongest point of using your muscle. Now, same thing, you could do it with a canned food. If you want to start low with that, that's fine. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try to <laughs> try to catch it there. Now, obviously, once you progress, you would be using something like a dumbbell. And that's fine just be careful not to drop it on the floor or whatever but you would just go like this and try to, the reason you're going to hold on to the edge of things is to keep yourself from trying to go like this because then you're just you're not doing anything you want to keep your body straight and everything the next one and i'm not going to use that for the sake of not dropping it on my <clears throat> area the next one is going to be and i suggest while this is on the ground, lock it into your feet, kind of just scoot over, and you're going to work on the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. So just basically roll over. <laughs> I know that was extremely graceful. And you're just going to do leg extensions. You're gonna pull that weight up, tighten it up at the top. And remember, hamstring exercises do not necessarily have to be super heavy. Hamstrings is one of those things, by the time you actually feel it, it could be bad. So don't go super crazy, and it's really easy to injure uh, hamstrings and get like your sciatic nerve problems and stuff like that. Some other ones, really quick, and I don't have much room, and you probably have this same problem. Uh, let me switch the angle of the phone really quick. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do my best here for you. But you can obviously just do regular squats. Now remember, 
If you feel pain in any section as you're doing squats and stuff like that, change your position, turn your foot in, turn your foot out, whatever it takes to be able to change that. Now, in addition to that, foot placement, not injury placement, but foot placement can really target different types of areas. So you can do like a, 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 a thin stance, which is going to be primarily your quads. As you uh, open it up, you're going to feel different types of like hamstrings and different things are going to be incorporated. And at the top, try to really squeeze your glutes and everything. That way you're actually getting some glute fires. So the next thing is going to be jump squats. Basically, same thing as squats, but jumps every time jumps and bring it down as low as you can same thing okay now a little bit more advanced you're probably gonna say hey well I'm doing these endlessly or whatever so first of all add weight to your actual squats don't add weight to your jumping squats you're gonna end up hurting yourself don't do that I don't suggest that for an at-home workout necessarily if you're an advanced uh, trainer or something like that fine go ahead but if you're a beginner I would say don't do that but as you do start to progress and you want to be able to see more movement and stuff like that I would say go ahead and do single leg squats be careful don't go too too low hold on to something like that and try to do those as sets now how I would formulate this into a daily thing if you had like a, a leg day or something like that I would say do the leg extensions and if you're really new do one to two sets of about 15 to 20 reps if you're a little bit more advanced maybe do three sets of leg extensions basically in the beginning one to two sets of everything okay so you're going to have but once you get going three sets 12 to 15 maybe even a little bit higher and if the resistance is too much you want to be close to you want to feel burning and stuff like that sensation because if you're not you need to increase the weight your body's not going to feel any type of development from this and remember hypertrophy and stuff like that is going to take six to eight weeks you're going to have to relax and just realize that change takes time so leg extension three sets 12 to 15 reps leg curl which is when you're laying on your stomach same thing i would say with the squats start with 25 if that's too simple add weight jump squats maybe three sets of 25 do this all in a row and then once you get a little bit more advanced you can do like single legs and stuff like that I hope you guys like this video if you like it please like share comment and subscribe this is stuff you can literally do at home with little to nothing okay you don't have to have dumbbells you don't have to have anything you could even do it with no resistance okay so keep in mind you could you could tie a bunch of clothes you know, you could use a trash bag full of water or whatever. These are things you could do in hotels. You could do them on vacation. You can do them in between meetings. You can do them at the office. You can do them anywhere. Literally, all you need is like a few minutes. So have a good day, guys. Be stronger than excuses. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace.